What's going on, guys? Largo Vlogs here. Welcome to Super Reese Galaxy Lesson 10.17. So, today we are going to go ahead and we're going to be talking about the maze. So, if you guys are wondering, what is the maze? Well, the maze is the part of the story where Reese has to go through a maze in order to move on through the castle. So, basically, I mentioned this is like a maze that people get in a math class, but what exactly does this maze look like? Well, I'm not sure if you guys have seen anything like this in your math class to where you would have like 12 slots or something and have like a maze to deal with. But what you would do is you would have a math problem in each square and basically based on what your answer was, you would go a certain path. So basically you could either go basically straight, down, or diagonal. And that was how like the maze would work. So it would go a lot like this that would be how you would do a maze so let's say that you had three plus seven if the choices were either 10 12 or 15 you would pick the right one if you got the wrong one maybe you would get stuff right and you would be misled so you have to be very careful on stuff like that that's the kind of stuff you deal with in math but today i want to go over the specific questions that are actually on the maze so the maze actually has a lot of stuff that we review. And, you know, some of the questions are pretty well written. Others are kind of like, you can see that, you know, if you ha you're you asked, um, like, what is like the, like, what is the Michelle root of a certain number? And you end up seeing choices that are not numbers. Those obviously belong to other questions. But we're going to go ahead and talk about each question step by step and show you how I got the answers. So the first question you're gonna have on the maze is the eye direction ability. So this one comes from planet eight. This is Savani that has the eye direction ability. So that's, that's the first question. Now, I'm not gonna tell you um, the order of any of the questions because that would obviously spoil the answers, but we're gonna go over like the questions that I see from left to right. But basically, if you had, like, Savani, suppose, like, this is not the correct answer, but if, if it was this way, you would go to the question that is this way. So, Savani has the eye direction ability. Um, another question is, who is Largo's boss? Largo's boss is Pinel. Because remember that in the sequence, the, the food chain is Largo, Pinel, Clearwater, and then the boss, which we still don't know actually the name of the boss yet. We're, we're definitely going to get there, but not yet. Okay. Which topic is covered in Mars? So, the topic that is covered in Mars, basically, I know that for topics that we cover in Mars, we talked about hay and girl exponents. We also talked about F, F prime, F double prime, integral, double integral, and triple integral boys. Those are the main things that we did. We also talked about Michelle Roots. And we also talked about hourglass problems, which we're not going to see any of those in like this in this review. But I do think there's probably about two or three questions covering those on the final. But on Instagram, you might have like just one question about that. Now, let's go ahead and move on to some other questions. Who has the Spider-Man ability? This ability comes from Planet 2. This was Dart that had the Spider-Man ability. Now, who had a Camouflage ability? That was Max. He had that in Planet 3. Whenever they were in like the car and Reese was driving and Max was up front. Now, another question. What kind of guys are indifferent about girls? So the answer to this one actually is double integral boys. So basically we like that's like that was like a stem from what was covered in Planet 4 as we talked about. But basically the, the, the dudes that are just like indifferent, those are double integral boys. Now you're gonna be asked. Which is undefined. So whenever something is undefined, that means we have a zero in the denominator. So that being said, we have to think about 
our colors. So, in this, in this case, your choices, you need to think about your colors, right? So, the choices that you're actually going to have on the test are going to be cotangent red, cotangent of blue, and then you're going to have cosecant yellow. Those are actual choices you're going to have. Now, you need to remember how, like, this color wheel is designed. So, basically, whenever you have, like, the color wheel, whenever you would do, like, the circle in Fritz Forest, this is what you would have. Red was right here, blue is here, and you'd have yellow right here. Now, looking at your choices, when you have the cotangent of red, remember, like, the formula that we, that we did. It would be x over y. So x over y would be what you'd have there. Now, for blue, you had the cotangent of blue, which is x over y. And for yellow, you had the cosecant, which was 1 over y. So basically, we really want to focus on how high up that you are. If you're right here, it's zero. Here is negative one, and right here is one. That's the height. Now, now that we know our heights, we already know that basically we're going to have a zero in the denominator for blue. So the answer would be the cotangent of blue. So that would answer that question. Now, who can read minds... So let's talk about mind reading. So basically, you got to remember Tia can read minds. David can read minds with bad intentions. And then Amelia can track previous conversations. And she can also use a Kaylee helmet as well. Now, who has a cat suit ability? This was from Planet Nine. Gabby had the cat suit ability. Okay. Now, let's talk about how to find the Michelle root of a number. So I'm not going to tell you which number is actually going to be on there, but let's say that we need to find the Michelle root of 16. So the Michelle root of a number is found by the mean of the factors. So every number, basically, you want to figure out what are all the factors of 16. Basically, it's all the numbers that 16 is divisible by. So I have 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16. So that's the first step. So now that we have all of our factors of 16, we're going to add those together. 1 plus 2 plus 4 is 7, plus 8 is 15, and then plus 16 is 31. Now we take our we take this number divided by the number of factors and we have 62. So you're going to get like a a different number and on that number your Michelle root is actually going to be a whole number and you'll have a bunch of choices. Now one thing we just talked about is who has the ability to use the Kaylee helmet? That's Amelia. Now, you're going to be asked a question about what is the square root of a perfect square. So, maybe you might use a calculator for this. I mean, you definitely could. I've never said you couldn't use a calculator. But I'm not going to tell you which perfect square it is. But let's say that it was 441. What you would do is you would actually want to break down your factors. And maybe you get, you start to realize, hey, these two numbers make 441. Okay, let's try a different example, though. Like, that, that one was too obvious, but let's say that you did 400. You have 100 and 4, 2 and 2. So if you realize that you have, basically, your pairs are exact, there's, like, you have exact pairs, then it's a perfect square. See, like, if you have, like, 16, 4 and 4, 2 and 2. 
Like, if you end up having pairs of prime numbers and there's no number that's the odd, odd guy out, that number is a perfect square. That's how you find a perfect square. Unless if you just remember your perfect square is up to, like, you know, like 1 squared through 20 squared, then you'll, you'll pretty much just remember that. Now, let's go ahead and talk about some Savani sling for, or Alyssa sling and Savani sling. So, one of the questions is finding the magnitude of three numbers. Suppose that you have these numbers. To find magnitude, all you need to do is put these under a radical and solve just like this. 49 plus 25, that is... 74. That is basically the square root of 74. Now, another question I want to talk about is the Savani sling formula. So, if you have this triangle here, this is a right angle. I need to find x. So, I know what type of triangle this is because I have my Pythagorean triples rem remembered. But, you need to figure this out. You use a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So, c so this one is 441. This is 400. 841. Break that. 841. So 841, I don't know if you guys actually know this, but 841 is actually a perfect square, and the square root is 29. Because this actually is a 20, 21, 29 triangle. So some of these are Pythagorean theorems that Pythagorean triples that I've remembered over the years. But these work because you know i know I, I know a lot of these so Th those are some examples of pythagorean triples so anyways that's really it for the maze i know in this one you really you, there really isn't anything new but this is all old stuff we pretty much covered all the questions but one thing i do want to go over is on the maze whenever you get your test on the actual book, you have to write down the exact order of the answers. The reason why I went over most of them is because if you do not, if you make one mistake, if your path is not this in the simplest form, it's not correct, you will not pass the exam on the book. Because on the exam, you have to have like the final battle. Let's say, like suppose even if you get like a perfect score, the boss is probably going to have like 8 HP. You're either going to do 40 damage to him and you're not going to be able to beat him. If you do not beat him, you're not going to pass the test. Because on exam 10, you're very particular on this. In previous exams, you were, you were able to get a 2 without even beating the boss. Now it's like if you don't beat this boss or you die, you're, get, you're, get, you're getting 0 points. You're not, you will not get a good grade on this exam. So make sure you are very careful and make sure you study this maze because this maze, it's at the end of your test. We'll be talking about this more on the exam 10 review, but anyways, circle vlogs, I'll see you guys next time.